Hi guys, David here, RF Shop. Um, now 2020 certainly is uh, quite a different year to many other years, um, so much so that we um, obviously nobody can really travel overseas. Um, so the big thing for us uh, well, as people in Australia and anywhere in the world is what can you do this summertime, upcoming summertime, it doesn't feel like summer right now, it's actually pretty cold, although it's spring, um, to make things worth it. Um, so what I've done, uh, as you can see, well, I'm a bit of a, um, <laughs> I like vintage stuff, so I have my old ute. Now I, I bought myself a nice old caravan as well, with the idea that my old caravan we will then um, now restore and just make something decent out of it. But it had to be good enough so that I can actually use it already. So there you go, that's, uh, that's our pet project for the next uh, few months or years to get us going. But what's the first thing you do when you get a new car an old caravan? What's the first thing you fix? You put a nice antenna on it. So what, the, what you see over there is uh, pointing MIMO 3 on the actual caravan itself. So the idea is we're going to have this caravan. Next time we go down to Rapid Bay to do a, a bit of a dive, um, stay overnight. And while we're there, share with my family, because of course I have family in South Africa still, um, yeah, share the, um, what we've seen underwater and just a bit of the experience. So no longer do you need to be remote and be disconnected. You can always be connected using a MIMO 3 and using some modems that I'll show you on the inside. So come and have a look. Now, as RF shop, we um, we did um, become a member of the uh, South Australian Caravan and Camping Community, which is a great thing, not just specifically for South Australia, but nationally as well, because I think camping, caravan, motorhomes, it's a big thing here. So we might as well have a lot of fun and be specific in our 4G solutions as well. So the antenna that I showed you on the outside is just on the other side of his roof. So um, I just want to show you that. It basically just drilled a hole into the um, ceiling and it's it's coming through here. So you have the, car the uh, antenna on top. Now for us, the key thing is that we, um, of course, we want to keep, or I want to keep easy access to all the modems, all the options. So I have the antenna wire, which is basically the coax cable and two SMI connectors. It's quite long. I want to keep ac easy access to this for myself, being out of shop, because I want to have the ability to play the test different setups. As a user, you would install this professionally or yourself and then as nice routing in here and then maybe create yourself a little comms cabinet where your modem can sit um, nicely tucked away. For us, here's a set of modems. I'll quickly show you what you can do with uh, an antenna or with a kit that's on our website. Um, let me show you the table. Now, if you have an old caravan, if you have a new caravan, if you have a motorhome, it makes no difference. Once you install the MIMO 3 on your vehicle, which is really getting it on the roof and using one of the spigot mounts or any of the techniques that's available to what's suitable for your specific van or your setup, you will have an SMA cable on the inside. Now the SMA cable, as mentioned earlier, you can route nicely in your um, cabinet or there might be a cable tray of some sort or conduit that you can use. Now, first of all, if you are an existing wireless mobile internet type of customer, you might have a B818, say from Vodafone or Optus at home. You already might have a Telstra Nighthawk available that you might use at home in the office or something. Or even, say, one of the, uh, the newer uh, 5G modems you get from, Vodaf uh, from Telstra, which is a, a ZTE model. Um, they all use TS9 pigtails, but that's an easy one. So with the kit that we can offer is that antenna plus two TS9 SMA to TS9 pigtails. These would basically mean that you can take your internet with you. So if you already have a B818 at home, just put the antenna on the roof, take your antenna with you, uh, take your internet with you, and that's it. That's that's the end of that. So with a TS9, this is all available, and you can just bring your internet to every wherever you want to be. So that's plan A for a lot of customers, not necessarily for uh, for you, but. Um, that is the the other one, which is pretty um, popular and pretty obvious, would be um, just the um, self I go, so booster. Now the antenna on the roof is a two port antenna, so it has MIMO, but nothing stops you from just using one of them, and it's really an SMA connector, so you can connect a um, self I go stationary or a caravan version um, onto a self I. So you just need to get yourself a self I, get yourself a MIMO three 
and you have a um, self go caravan kit just there and then end of story that works so that's another beautiful solution using a, a kit use with the m 3 on a um, caravan but the most exciting bit and this is really um, where we um, have a lot of emphasis on and hopefully we can do uh, a lot of uh, yeah progress on this kind of ideas first is using teltonica so there's a whole kit there's a modem at the moment we kit it up either with the um, teltonica rut 950 or with the um the basic rut 240 I, I have the antennas in there but those antennas would obviously be swapped over for the antenna that you have on your roof now the rut 240 is a basic modem has two ethernet ports on one end gets power, gets a SIM card, goes into your cabinet or wherever you want to place your modem and comes with Wi-Fi so you can either connect it to an Ethernet port or you have a Wi-Fi source and you have Wi-Fi in your caravan again using that MIMO 3 on the roof or which is pretty cool actually using a device such as the um, RUT 950 from Teltonica now what makes this thing absolutely beautiful for this case is you have two uh, SIM cards so you can have your standard uh, Telstra SIM and you know Telstra is available most of the places but there might be a few places you go where it's only Optus that's available nothing prevents you from then putting an Optus SIM doesn't have to be a contract, can be a prepaid or so just for that time, for peace of mind you go out of Telstra reach but there might be Optus then you switch, or the modem auto automatically switches over to um, Optus you are still connected you can seamlessly carry on, be connected to your family. If there's young children, they can still be connected to whatever they want to do on, I don't know, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, whoever, whatever they want to use. Um, so these two kits, this or this, connected with the Marmo 3 that's on the roof, is available on our website. We have stock, so ready for summertime. That's definitely what we are keen to present and I think it's a, an amazing solution to um, to consider going into the summer holiday and, and of course m much more than that when we go to Rapid Bay I will be using the RUT240 to show me being connected to the internet keeping in touch with my family um, back in South Africa even here um, when we go to Port Lincoln I will also be more focused on the RUT950 so that I can also show how we are um, constantly connected regardless where we are um, of course, um, we will keep playing with the B818, so in the same setup where we have it on the caravan, we go to one of those, those sites and we will show with the um, B818 using uh, another SIM, we are connected, um, and so and so. So, lots to be played, playing with in this coming summertime. Um, pretty excited, also <laughs> excited, it's nothing to do with RF Shop, so this is my personal pet project is to get this caravan up and running in I mean it, it, it works quite well it, it's it's functional so we are already good it's better than a tent for us as a young family um, and you'll see it whenever it um, comes into play during the videos other than that I do appreciate the um, comments and feedback through our actual channel so if you have any questions if you have any comments feel free to let us know through our youtube channel as always visit us on our website rfshop.com.au where we have an email address you can contact us and there is a phone number if you're on australia so happy to have a chat with you over the phone as well um i think that's really it for now so as i said in four weeks time i will be going to rapid bay and then we will do this this test with the actual unit itself um, before that we intend to do a bit of fun with a um, pointing expo 2 on a dish um, it looks amazing i think it's going to be a very interesting experiment not saying it's something that's practical or many people are going to do it but who are we to not have fun with our antennas and stuff and that's really it for now so thanks for watching uh, please subscribe and see you again soon thank you bye